What's going on guys and welcome to part three of the Watch Me Build a lead generation campaign for car dealerships with Facebook ads. For those of you that are new to the channel or just tuning in now, my name is Joshua Daniel George. I own a social media marketing agency here in the Netherlands and I also have a coaching business where I basically teach you guys how to do the same. In this video, we are basically going into the ad set level of our campaign in the previous videos i basically explained what you needed to do in terms of the pixel etc and how to set up the campaign itself in this video we are looking at all of the audiences okay guys and welcome to part three of the watch me build a lead generation campaign for car dealerships with facebook ads and in today's video we are going to set up the audiences now what i'm going to do is i'm going to set up one specific audience and then in the next two videos, I'll set up the advertisement, which will be the lead generation form. And then I'll go back into the audiences and I'll create some duplicates, okay? So what I, basically what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to find which, for example, age group in this case, will get us the most amount of leads for the cheapest price, okay? So what I can quickly show you guys here is um, a quick Google Sheet on what I'm actually trying to do. So blank sheet. Okay, there we go. So we've got one campaign. Um, let's see what the, can we still see what the campaign is called? No, I think it's something, something like um, UK Legion. And then it was something like free, um, free call or something like that. Free quote actually free quote okay so we've got one campaign just add one more here okay we can set up for example an ad um, that targets 18 to 24 um, and then both male and female with an interest in let's say cars okay no idea and this is just for example purposes only okay what we can then do um, oh, by the way, let's also make a distinction between mobile and desktop. So mobile, interesting cars. Okay, we could then set up the exact same audience, but then rather than targeting 1824, we'll target 2534. Okay, then do the same again. Rather than 2534, we target 3544. Okay, we can do it one more time, or let's say two more times. Um, so 4554 and... 5564 okay so all of these are basically the same campaign but just targeting different age groups okay if you do this guys also make sure that you check the audience size if it's below a million then obviously it's very very specific and the lead will be very very expensive so always check the audience size first before doing this um, but once you have this we can also do the same but for desktop Okay, so just change all these up. Desktop, I'm sure there's a quicker way of doing this, but um, I'm never really good with Excel. So desktop, desktop. And the last one, desktop. Okay, so now what we can do is we can test which age is getting us the most amount of leads and which uh, like basically device is getting us the most amount of leads. Okay, desktop or mobile. We can then do the same, but rather than cars, we can target, um, for example, SUVs. Okay, and then do the exact same uh, for all of these, and so on and so forth. And that is how you can basically create the most in-depth split test that you can think of, and it's got all the information that you need. And this is actually the way that we actually found out that one of our clients was targeting the wrong audience, okay? So what we did was um, basically what he was doing, he had an e-commerce store and he was promoting his products to 18 to 44, okay? So he even rebranded his entire website to make it more youthful, more focused on uh, people that are in college and university, etc. He made his brand look as modern as possible. And what we actually found out, because he was targeting, um, he had broad targeting, so cold traffic going to the website, and he also had um, a specific target, just 1844. And then what he then done was he retargeted people that uh, were interested, added to cart, etc. And once we broke the entire campaign down, we realized that his 
best target audience that got got him the highest return on ad spend was actually 55 to 64 and 45 54 male on mobile and um, ironically on Instagram, which we didn't know either. Um, so he was doing a lot on Facebook and we realized that his retargeting campaigns, he didn't edit the placements and the ones that actually got a profitable return on ad spend were on Instagram. So that's another one you can also do. Um, you can also, rather than changing the interest, you can change the platform. So this can all be Facebook and then the next, you can basically duplicate all of these and then just target Instagram, okay? So that is basically what I mean by split testing the audience. So what I'll do for just this campaign, uh, for this video, I'll basically be doing this and then we'll set up the ad. So let's say uh, this is the ad set. This is just the audience size. This is the ad. Okay, so let's say for this ad, we set up um, three images, for example. Okay, three different um, you know images that go to the lead form. So this is what we'll be doing in this video. In the next video, we'll set up this, um, you know, this ad as well. And then we'll go back to the ad sets and then duplicate this entire flow from here and then change the variables to, you know, different ages and different, um, in this case, different um, devices. What we'll probably do is we'll focus on mobile first and then from there, um, we'll see which flow is the most profitable and then we'll change it up to desktop and then compare the two okay so mobile traffic more often than not is much cheaper so we'll be focusing on mobile traffic first and then from there we can see okay so what we'll be doing is rather than making that difference between desktop and mobile uh, we'll just be changing the interest so these can go and then copy and paste these and then rather than cars we can do for example um i don't know selling cars again we'll have to see what interests are available selling cars and then same for all of these okay so interests rather than device okay i think you guys get the point with this so i'll leave it as is and then we'll focus on the ad set so ad set uk we'll start with um 1824 not making a distinction between male and female so just leave it like that mobile and then free quote okay now for this you will need a, a facebook page uh, which we do not have can we quickly create one local business um, page name we'll just do um we sell any car no idea if that's even available um automotive street address can we find a quick address uh we buy any car branch locator there we go now obviously you will need to put your own um yeah allow that's fine you will need to put your own postcode is not valid ah, okay so there we go that's fine you will need to put your own address in here you can't get away with doing this it, this is just because um, it's it is for educational purposes only um, city there we go postcode is this one okay and then profile picture do we need to can we get away with a profile picture is required okay makes sense so then what we'll do is Google we buy any car logo um, yeah, that'll do for now. Actually, is this a square? Yeah, this is a square, so we'll just use this one. Okay, save to desktop, that is fine. And there we go. Select image, upload the image. Uh, I think it might be too small. Let's just see if we can get away with it. Okay, continue. Can we? Oh, yeah, okay, cool. Create page. Hopefully, the page name is okay. Remove this while waiting. Okay, there we go. Please read and accept Facebook's lead terms. Okay. I agree. Okay, you've accepted. That's fine. Okay, so we've got our Facebook page. We've got our asset name. Now we can start creating our audience. Okay, so location is not the Netherlands. Location in this case is actually 
now we need to get very specific okay so it's not just the uk we need to now get the address of our you know our car dealership so let's say it is actually this address let's see if we can actually find this or is this too specific select your location type um okay postal codes match location okay so cancel your audience location is missing yeah that's what I'm trying to find okay so what we can then do is knowledge plus 40 that's quite big plus 20 is fine okay so obviously um, you can actually do your actual address but um, you know for this video it might be it might take too long because obviously it's not actually our physical address it's just a random uh, we buy any car branch um, but what I would do is plus 20 miles or plus 30 kilometers we've got because we've got the entire uh, city of Norwich I've just done plus 20 kilometers but um, the best thing to do here is your actual address plus 20 miles okay anything over 20 miles I don't think to be going for your car dealership um, same goes for you know over 30 kilometers you're quite far out and I think there will be a car dealership that is closer by for them okay so that is fine age 1824 so as I mentioned this will most probably not be the most profitable audience but um, as you can actually see here the potential reach is only 49,000 so that is very very small um, all genders detailed targeting so you might actually have to increase this or if you notice that for example let's say so what was this 49,000 let's say this one is 80,000 and uh, the rest are just over a mil then what you can do is you can stack these two audiences to start with okay just to make it you know make the CPC and the click rate etc a little bit lower and the cost per lead lower uh, by stacking these to audience because the smaller the audience the more expensive the leads will be okay for this case I'll just do plus 40 or let's do 45 see how big the audience gets 95,000 okay again very very small but in this case we'll just have to go for it we'll just have to do it um, you know just because this video is for educational purposes only okay all genders that is fine we already said that we won't be making any distinction between male and female detail targeting so here is where we can basically find okay fine um, interests that are relevant for our car dealership so we can do um, let's say car owner see if that exists small business owner now let's do cars see what we get car driver interests job title employers car rentals interesting car rental sports car okay so it's not an actual like I think car driver as a job title might not be the best one car driver as an employer um okay so then what we're probably best doing here rather than doing car is doing specific car brands okay so let's uh, again what you'll need to do is you'll need to contact the client and ask them you know what car is getting sold the most okay and then from there let's just say it's volkswagen you can then add that one and you know obviously the more specific the better let's just say uh, let's just do the let's do Volkswagen Polo actually so Volkswagen Polo I think this will make the audience plummet it will three and a half K okay but basically um, you can then do all of the cars that are you know popular you can add here so Volkswagen uh, let's just do Volvo we can do Audi say these okay and so on and so forth now usually I will not recommend switching this on because it will um, basically increase your audience and you'll get a load of people that aren't really interested but because the size of this audience is so damn small we will expand detailed targeting to basically you know target more people so as you can see uh, we've given Facebook four different types of interests and then from there Facebook will look for other interests or other people that might also be interested okay from there we're going to edit the placement click here all devices switch off desktop 
and OK. And then we just want Facebook. So just Facebook, just the Facebook news feed as well. So switch off stories, switch off in stream, switch off in article and just leave on the Facebook news feed. OK, from there, we can now set up our budget. So daily budget, um, 20 a day is fine. Again, as already mentioned, um, with this account, we can only spend 22 a day. So, um, you know, we'll just leave it at that. You can start with five, you can start with 100. That is completely up to you and up to the client. Um, what I usually do is start with 10 or 20 a day, run it for three days, see what the results are. And then from there, I make changes or, you know, switch off the campaigns or, you know, in, in the case of e-commerce, if it's profitable, then obviously scale. Okay, if you are more um, experienced and you know what the cost per lead is on average, you can also have like a cost control um, so you won't spend more than X amount on a specific lead, okay? Because we aren't experienced and we don't know what the cost per lead on average is, we'll just have a daily budget. You can also do a lifetime budget if the client says, you know, you can't spend more than 1500 a month. But um, I think daily budget is the best to work with. So I hope you enjoyed this video and that you now understand a little bit more what audience to choose, how to set up the the like the audiences and the budget, etc. If you do think that you need a bit more guidance with all of this and you'd like to work together on this and you want me to personally push you to the next level, I do offer coaching. It will be linked in the description box down below. Now, if you're on the fence about this or if you're unsure that we are a right fit for each other, we can also schedule a no strings attached discovery call. Again, it will be linked in the description box down below. Subscribe to the channel for more and I'll see you guys in the next part.